That's all you get. This isn't all of the apples I have. I have a lot more than this. But today, we're making juice. So what do you think? I can't see you. Oh. What do you think of when you think of childhood? <laughs> I'm sick. Or, mommy, I'm thirsty. You think of apple juice. Chicken noodle. Uh, apple apple juice. juice. Chicken noodle, close second. Pizza pops, third. Basically, I'm making apple juice. Ta-da! <laughs> but we're making it a very interesting way. I got every single kind of apple that's available at the grocery store. Don't worry, only one of each. There's gonna be plenty of apples for everybody. Then why do you have all these? because I'm making apple crumble later, but that's besides the point. The point is, I've been freezing apples overnight. Let me get those right now. Oh, you label them? Aren't you the sweetest little guy? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mickintosh. Granny Smith. Wow, my hands are freezing. Ooh, golden delicious. Ah, so pretty. Sweet Tango. Okay. This one probably doesn't fit in at school. A jazz. I didn't even know jazz apples existed, but jazz apple, everybody. <clears throat> Gala. Gala apple. These three look quite similar, but I can assure you they're different. Red. Delicious. Gorgeous. Ooh, she's dainty. She's cute. She's just here for the summer. Pink lady. So cold. And last but definitely not least, possibly the most appetizing name of all, the honey crisp. Mm -hmm. Now you might be wondering why I'm making apple juice and why I froze all of these apples beforehand. Well, you see, when you freeze an apple, the cellular structure falls apart. The ice takes up more space, ruptures the cell cake. Get back here. <laughs> There's a reason why fruit gets mushy after you freeze it. And I'm going to thaw these now and I'm going to squeeze apple juice of every apple with my bare freaking hands and then try it. And it might be the most delicious thing ever because I love apple juice. Anyways, I'll see you in uh, four hours. Uh, yeah, see you in four hours. It is now four hours later and these apples look like old grandmas. Like these things have aged so much. We're gonna start off with the pink lady and I'm gonna squeeze her with my bare hands. Pink ladies are bred from Australian and Western Australian apples. As a result, you get a tart. Oh my goodness, this is working. As a result, you get a tart. Whoa, yikes. Gotta be really careful not get apples in my eye. What's going on at the top? Apple's got a bunghole. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze from the bottom. Okay, yeah, this is how it was meant to be done. Whoa, okay. Yeah, I feel so strong right now. I'm squeezing an apple. Ooh, that's it smells really, really good. I feel like this is one of my favorite kinds of apples because it's not too sweet. Yeah, you can really get a lot of juice from an apple. I guess that's why apple juice is so popular. <laughs> a lot of mileage in here. Ew, look at that. I'm so strong! Don't tell anybody that these apples are frozen. Just show them this part of the video. Ah! She's strong. She cool too. I'm gonna try some. Oh. That is really, really good. The perfect apple flavor. Rate the pink lady one to five, five being the highest. Five. You can't bait the Aussie apple. And I like how like the juice kind of has a pink tint to it. Looks pink from my perspective. Looks more like pee in the glass. The gala, the classy apple. Okay, I'm so scared of getting this in my eye. Oh, the gala just falls right apart. Ew, it's just pure mush. Okay, let's just wring her out. <laughs> like a cloth. Ew, that was really easy and disgusting. The Gala apple is one of the most popular apples in the States. This apple is used for cooking a lot because it's very sweet. It's used for salads a lot as well. I'm gonna try it. Tastes like cider. It tastes exactly like cider. Like that is way too sweet. That is some sweet juice right there. It's weird how it's like way lighter. The pink lady, the gala. Do they look different to you? Yeah. Whatever. What do you mean? As you can see, the honey crisp has really taken a hit. It looks disgusting. They're bred purely for taste. Apparently these are the best apples to be eaten raw. Whoa, that guy's juicy. Whoa, careful. I wonder if these are the apple slices you get at McDonald's. I love how the first thing I thought of is like the most unhealthy thing you could possibly do. Wonder if they use these in McDonald's apple pies. <laughs> My 
appreciation for apples has gone up so much. This one is not too sweet. Like no wonder this is the most popular one in America because like that is so sweet it like made me sick. Whereas the Honeycrisp is like, oh I can tell you were bred for flavor. Well you didn't give a gala a rating. Two. And Honeycrisp? Five. Oh. Yeah, five. the first one's four now. This is the new standard. Look at the light color in comparison. It's a light, juicy, not too sweet, not too tart. It's just gorgeous. Ew, golden delicious. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Ew, I hate the mushy kind. Ew, it's so mushy that like if I squeeze it more, there's gonna be mush in the juice. And mm, cloudy apple juice. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, okay, that's so gross. You're done? Yeah, I What if can't. it tastes really good and you're losing all the juice? Because if I squeeze it, there's just gonna be pulp everywhere. Like, look at this, it's goo. Apple goo. Ew. I also kind of want to rate them on mushability because the Golden Delicious is so gross. And like my favorite apple, like it, it really maintained its structure, you know? Apparently these are very prone to bruising and swelling, but they're popular because they're sweet. <coughs> That's not apple juice. That is literal nectar. That is the sweetest thing I've ever tasted in my entire, well, I mean, come on, chocolate lava cake, but still like, and this one has pulp in it just because, ew, it just fell apart. Rating? I mean, if you're in the mood for nectar, it's pretty good. It's used in apple butter. It's like a creamy, like mushy, velvety, super sweet apple. She was born in New Zealand, but she's from the States. She's hard, crisp, and juicy. This is the jazz. Squishability. 10 out of 10. She's not falling apart. She's got a beautiful, rich, deep pink pigment to her. Excellent fart sounds. She looks like an excellent apple to make juice. I think that I've effortlessly yielded the most juice from our friend here, the Jazz. Wow, excellent review. Now to taste. Oh. Ooh, she's pretty. She's gorgeous. I think that the Jazz is like the Margot Robbie of apples. That's a sweet, sweet girl. And she's got such a lovely color. I'm such an old lady. <laughs> You're a pink lady. <laughs> Couldn't be a jazz. So this is Sweet Tango. She is Honeycrisp's sister. Despite the fact that she has sweet in her name, apparently she's more tart than Honeycrisp. And I love a good tart apple. Ooh, I just squirted all over your pants. <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to do the old one hand shot. Whoa. Yeah, she has good squishability. She's not turning into mush. Her skin is very intact and her juice very light. Sweet tango, will you be good to me? She's nothing special, to be honest. Like she's all dressed up, she's ready to go, but she just doesn't really deliver. She learned all the right moves, but she's not Rihanna. She just thinks she is. It's so pink compared to her sister. Yeah, so Sweet Tango wasn't as tart as it said it was gonna be. It was just kind of sweet to me. So we're gonna do the apple pie apple, the grandmother apple. This is the apple you think of when you think of America. You know American pie? This is the Granny Smith apple, known for its tart taste. Oh, <laughs> she's really giving me a hard time. Man, she really just tinkles, like she doesn't blow. Sorry, Grandma! Yes, that's the juice we needed. <laughs> so awkward. Thanks, Granny, it's quite the workout. I keep squeezing it and more juice keeps coming coming out. Like this is a juicy apple. No one whipped past me. <laughs> dead on the inside. She oxidized quickly. Granny Smith, I've got high hopes for you. You were the apple pie apple. The apple of my eye, maybe. I think I should be an apple taster. This is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful apple. Not too sweet. It's got so much more flavor complexity than all of the other apples. Like some of them were just like sweet. This is the king of apples. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, the tartness, the beauty. Gorgeous. Mm. Why does it feel like it has like floral notes to it? Like wh why is this is like a garden. This is like an orchard. It's stunning. Moving on to the most popular apple in Eastern Canada, which is where I live. This is the Macintosh apple. Apple computers were named after this and this is an all purpose apple. It's good for cooking and eating raw, which is interesting because you know, we're gonna squish it. <laughs> Cause we're gonna squish it good. Very, Whoa. ew, oh. 
Ew, 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 it's so mushy. There's no juice in it, it's just mush. Okay, what I have to do is squeeze it as much as I can and then take the pulp out. This is a disaster. This is a mess. I hate this. Ugh. Ooh, it's so gross. There's no juice in here. Squishability, zero out of five. It's all pulp. It's so gross, ew. I think that this apple, like especially because it's so popular here, this apple might be the reason why I don't like apples. Because you know when you like take a bite out of an apple and you're like, that wasn't good at all. Yeah, I yeah. these apples being like. Yeah, just trash, like just everywhere yeah. and trash. No juice in it, Doesn't hard really, to bite. Yeah. Yeah, your teeth get stuck in it. Then you go to the dentist and you go, my teeth hurt. I bit apple and it hurt so bad. I might have to actually strain this juice. Unless you don't mind a little pulp in your juice. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, we got another drip. Oh, yeah, two drips. Yeah, no, it's not really coming out. We got no juice from this apple. Zero. I can't, I hate this apple. But who knows, maybe it'll have like a really good taste and maybe it'll be like really good in juice form. Sometimes you eat an apple and it's like really surprisingly good and like juicy. I feel like all the times I've eaten these in my life, that was a dry, like not fun, like it went totally brown before I finished eating it because it was so bad. This is that apple. Mm -hmm. Ew. The little amount of juice that this apple has, it just tastes like sweet nothing. Let me take you back to 1892. An apple competition was hosted to dethrone the Ben Davis and the Red Delicious took the reins. This was the most popular apple for a very, very, very long time. And uh, hopefully she was good. She was born in 1880. We've been eating these things forever. Whoa, and she's got some serious, serious give to her. Imagine going to an apple competition and trying this apple and being like, Kartha, it's the one. Yeah, you were alive back then, you're old. Okay, well, she holds together great. She's got a lot of juice. Like, I feel like I could get more. Whoa. Red Delicious, one of the most popular apples for a very long time. It's all right. I think that it probably won because it's like skin is so red and pretty, but there are better apples out there. And I understand why like other apples took this guy's throne. The Fuji, for example, like was getting a lot more popular when this guy was having his reign. Ooh, that's a really dark color though. Maybe the darkest one. How do you like them apples? Oh, yeah. It's an apple a day, keeping the doctor away. But if it's on this side, it's better than the other. Oh, except for you, you have no juice. Okay, so if I can remember correctly, I think that, is this one? No, is this one Granny? Yep. This is Granny? Yep. I knew it! I know my apples these days. The color gradient of all these different apples. It's kind of cool. All right, now we're gonna mix all the juices together. I'm just gonna have the final smells. It smells like an apple existed sometime. You don't really know when. It smells like a pear, the golden delicious. Honey crisp, make this thing delicious. What about you? Granny Smith. Oh, fantastic. I wish there was more of you. Make that juice a little darker. This is the sweet tango. It smells like an airplane. Gala. I can smell the sugar from here. Pink lady. Oh my goodness. Might have a lot of juice here. Jazz. Let's put it in the measuring cup. Hmm. She smells fresh and crisp. The Red Delicious just smells as dated as it is. So nine apples and we got like two and a half cups of juice. Yeah, all right, let's try my juice. To all the apples at the grocery store. Together. If this is what apples can do when they work together, imagine what we can do. This is really good. It's like a mix of cider and juice. You know the old saying? If it's clear and yellow, you got juice there, fella. If it's tangy and brown, you're in cider town. This is like a mix of both. We put a little cinnamon in here, warmed it up. Mmm. I just can't believe that there's no added sugar in here because this is as sweet, if not sweeter, than like every apple juice I've ever had. I'm gonna be wired all night. Try it, tell me what you think. It's very sweet. Sugar carries hard. Mm. Amazing. It's so good. I feel like a lot of the really sweet ones like didn't have a lot of juice. Well, some of them did, but a lot of like the really perfect ones had a lot more juice. It's like the perfect balancing game. This is the perfect apple juice. Mm, it's cloudy too. In conclusion, apples are really cool. We eat a lot of apples and they taste good. 
<laughs> I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> In conclusion, apples have always been one of my least favorite fruit, because they suck. But there are good apples out there, I just needed to try all of them. Because going out and picking them blind, it was really tough. Apple juice though, this is good. Apple pie, great. Apple crumble, wonderful. And now I'm gonna know which apple to use for each thing. So I can fully graduate to being the old lady I deserve to be. And now you can know it too. Yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little weird, a little random, but for some reason, I just wanted to do it. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you hit push notifications and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.